Hello everyone, it's Melvin Molly. I'm making another informative video <clears throat> on my um, solar supplemental system. I just wanted to uh, point out a very small upgrade that I feel is important. If you look at prior videos of my supplemental system, this is basically a 12 volt Frankenstein system that I keep making more and more powerful as I go along. I keep adding solar panels. Eventually, I I will make it more efficient by uh, making it into a 24 volt system so I don't need as many charge controllers and such heavy heavy gauge wire but I do have shade in the backyard and a lot of my panels are meant for a 12 volt system in other words they can only <coughs> pour out um, 19 volts max and so I <coughs> I'd have to like wire wire them in um, <coughs> wire them in series and I and I get shade and I would lose power throughout the day well, anyways, let's get to the point here. I just wanted to point out that I added some switches to my system. Okay, some actual DC switches that actually make a huge difference. Those those Outback charge controllers over there, I couldn't stand them. They'd always go into sleep mode and they perform badly. What I was using, they were just being used just as cut off, shut off switches from my from from the solar panels. Was basically you know, a regular um, alternating current um, sub-panel box, which is basically made, made for 120 household appliance <coughs> alternating current, not um, the DC power that you would get from, um, <coughs> from uh, solar panels, okay? It's made a huge difference, okay? Right, right now, the, the system is, is working wonderfully, like a charm. You know, it's been, um, <coughs> it's like an overcast day right now, and the system is generating, I'm going to say, anywhere from as little as 1,200 watts when, in the, when, you know, it's when the sun goes down to as, to as much as like you know, 3,000 watts, like 3,700 watts when the, when the sun comes out. And I'm operating right now three air conditioners, okay, because I'm in the northeast and it's 91 degrees going into September and it's been a, been a really fucking hot year, okay. Uh, I think what was happening, uh, I'd like to ask, ask for um, some, uh, some advice on this. I think what was happening is these, these DC power switches, I think, were retarding the power to my, <clears throat> to my um, Outback charge controllers, okay? I, I, um, I noticed that once I pull, pull, put, after I put in the new um, the actual D swi DC switches that, that are meant for these applications, I have noticed that the hardware... And this, some of it was like actually melted. Every once in a while, these these uh, breakers, circuit breakers that are meant for basically household household sub panels and panels, would, would trip and it was was melting. So you, we need to use the right, right equipment. And I'm learning just like everybody else, but I recommend using actual DC switches and and do not use okay um, something that's meant basically for household <coughs> household applications for for DC. For, for alternating current, you know, DC, DC applications need DC switches, okay, <clears throat> if you can remember, I, I was doing a lot of things wrong, I was actually laying, because I actually had an original 80 amp Ames charge control, I was laying it on its side, and, and you know, it was overheating, you know, there was, there's no, there was no fan to it, so, um, <clears throat> you know, you have to lay them up right, you know, there's a lot of, I'm learning as I go, just like everybody else, okay, I hope everyone's having a good day, um, this is stuff to consider when uh, the price of energy is going up. I hear that uh, Russia is cutting off <laughs> the power over there in, in uh, Europe and uh, cutting off their, their energy supply. But uh, <clears throat> so, um, but that's a bit, another video for another day, probably by somebody else. I'd like to also ask people's opinion. I also bought some um, some new equipment <clears throat> for for recording. This this should have uh, a bet better pixel output than my old um, my old equipment that I was using okay so this should give a little bit better quality picture and film than I was giving so you get a better look at it okay right now you look at the charge controllers they're operating this thing is operating and I don't know if you can see it with this five five hundred watts no 500 watts normally this would be operating like around 300 watts okay I didn't, I didn't think uh, something as simple as switches would make that big of a deal. I mean, if any questions and comments, you know, please uh, feel free to...
talk about it. I love chatting about sol solar applications. You know, I'm learning just like everybody else. I just want to make a nice short video here for everyone, for your viewing pleasures. All right, everyone. Um, <clears throat> everyone stay cool and uh, enjoy the day in uh, Melvin Molly out here. All right, buddy. Everyone, later.